Hi hey guys, I'm Dennis from Respect Studios and uh, we're going to continue the tutorials for the shader graph and in this one I'm going to show you a little bit more about the reflections and uh, how you can do nice static reflection for, with the shader graph and without actually having to use the uh, reflection probes in the in the build we're going to use them to generate a map but we're not going to use them to in the build so let's start with a new shader here shader graph let me just take this i'm going to delete it i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to name it shader graph 07 let me delete absolutely everything okay now, first of all, to be able to see a reflection, let me create one sphere like this. You have to make a cube map. So I'm going to make a sample cube map. And I'm going to hook that into the emission. Uh, I need a cube map for the reflection uh, for now I'm going to download now if I open Google and type cube map I'm going to download the first image this is it I have downloaded it and uh, it's inside unit here so when I when you import it it's uh, this one yeah when you import it you have to keep the texture type to default and the texture shape to cube uh, this is how it's going to look like when you do that. It's going to make a sphere which will, will look like it's reflecting something. Uh, let's press uh, here on the cube map and uh, open that sphere. And now you can see that if I select the color and make it black and hit save, we are going to see let me just select material 7 if you don't have just create a material 7 and uh, let me just do that let me apply the material to the sphere and now you can see that the sphere is having a texture muppet on it and uh, it looks like it's reflecting something but not exactly because if i rotate it it's rotating the reflection that doesn't look right okay now what we have to do to make this work is actually we have to take the normal direction which is the normal vector and uh, hook the output into the normal of the sample cube map and then we have to take the view direction and hook that into the view direction here so if we hit up uh, save here uh, one second you can see now that now it looks a lot uh, better now it's look like it's reflecting something okay if we scale it uh, for example like this looks like more like it's uh, reflecting something okay uh, we can make one property which will be float and we're going to call it uh, let's just call it blur reflection blur and hit save I'm going to create one property Let's choose reflection blur and uh, let's hook that here. Hit save. And now if you select the sphere and you go to the shader, you can start increasing the reflection blur and you're going to start getting this. Now you still have you still have reflection but it's getting disampled like it's a mip map. So you can make that uh, you can hook that to the distance, you can make it uh, as far as I'm concerned if you make that uh, to be like this it will be less uh, it will expect less uh, from the uh, device that the game is running that the project is running so let's keep the, that for now to zero <coughs> now let's uh, say that we want to have a reflection in our scene and not the external map uh, for this I'm going to select, I'm going to get that house and uh, spawn it a few times 
like here then you can spawn any object you want just make sure that you're following the steps let's make it like this okay I'm going to select all of the four houses and the floor and I'm going to come here and just make them reflection reflection probe static so now I will hide the sphere for a moment I'm going to make a empty game object and I will add a component which will be a reflection probe uh, make sure that you go to the lightning if you don't know how to go just go to window uh, lightning settings and uh, turn off auto generate for a second uh, on the reflection probe we're going to make the resolution to 512 and the near I'm going to set it I'm going to leave it to 0 0.3 but the far I'm going to make it to 100 no need to keep it to a thousand that's too much let me close the shader graph for a moment let's hit bake just wait for a moment to generate the texture okay now if you see here we have this uh, the same type of cube map that we have j we have downloaded from google and uh, if we go where the scene is you have to save your scene by the way somewhere if you go where the scene is you will have a folder that's named it the same way as the scene so here you will have the reflection probe now what i'm going to do is i will duplicate that And uh, when I duplicate, I'm, getting, I'm going to get it out of the folder. Let me delete this one. And I will delete the main 0 2. I don't need it anymore. I will select the reflection probe. I will delete that. I don't need it. I have the cube map. Reflection cube. And uh, that might break it. No, it doesn't. Okay. Perfect. Let me put that into textures. And now if I open the shader, which is here. Actually, I don't need to open the shader. Oh yeah, I need. I can select here and select reflection cube. It's safe. And now our sphere is going to reflect these houses. All right. And of course, this is static reflection. If you move it, it's not going to take into account the movement. But uh, it's for a static object, and uh, there are no. Uh, it's just a simple texture. You can, of course, the make that look like make it like one. You can make it to be two, whatever. Now the thing is that we want to be able to get the texture from here. So to be able to do that, we have to actually add one property, which is a cube map. And let's name it reflection. Let's create one property here and choose reflection and apply that. Maybe do this. Save. Let me choose that. Save. Okay. And now we can choose what reflection we want to use. All right. Now we can do some uh, like setup here. For example, we can add the for no effect because this is how the reflection works in the real world. Like this, and uh, let me first actually let me multiply the for no effect with a property. And uh, let's make a property here. Let's choose the for now. Add that here and that here. Make that one. And uh, let me just type a preview just to see how it's going to look like. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to multiply that to here. Okay. one and uh yeah but the thing is that normal in the direction normal direction 
view direction okay and this is going to go to look and we just have to add a color to this because we don't want to have it black here at the middle okay and uh give me a second so we have to make a add note and uh, actually make another and we don't want that here let me just add that with one so we can take that and apply it here okay so we can type 0 0.2 0 0.5 0 0.8 25 all right and uh, yeah so we can actually multiply this with a different call to to be able to get uh, a better result of that effect which we can make uh, multiply the now with another property which I'm going to call uh, for now intensity let's make a property here and uh, apply that oops apply that here and let's take the multiply and apply it here now we can make the for now intensity to be 2 or 5 for example and at the center we can make it one or for example 0.5 or 0 0.7 0 0.5 it's safe now the center is going to be 0.5 and this is going to be like three and this is how it's looking okay now this should not be This is pretty much how you can make a the reflection for static objects. Now you can play with it and make some uh, interesting result. You can multiply the end result with a color or even with a texture. But uh, you can actually make a, a texture sample and just uh, take a simple texture and apply it into the albedo. Uh, the thing is that think we should oh now we have delete here this is a new version by the way now I can select the nodes which is great emission and uh, you can see that the, the texture is very visible so if we change some values here it doesn't work but we, what we can do is actually we can multiply Oh, let me just reopen it. We can just multiply that with the texture. But I don't think that this will work actually because we have. Let me try. Yeah, that doesn't work. It, it does work, but. Uh, If I remove that and just keep that to the emission. Yeah, the texture is visible, but it's just barely visible, okay. So we can, uh, the Ferno intensity is actually the one I think we can. Make to look, oh, the thing is that this is just too much, okay. And uh, as, a, as a final result, we can just make one multiply node right here and actually make an intensity 
Actually, we don't have to do that. Zero emission. Actually, I think. Okay, uh, yeah, that, let's make, I was trying to, I was testing something. Let's make a multiply node and uh, connect that here and make, oops. Yeah, I, did that. I uh, shouldn't have to. Anyway, uh, for no intensity, let me just uh, that's nice. Let me just delete this one. For no intensity, and let's make another float which will be uh, reflection intensity. Let's hit save. And uh, we are going to make a property here, which we will use reflection intensity and multiply it with the actual end the multiply node of the reflection. And if we add that here, you can see now that we can com can control how much of the reflection we can have. So, for example, it's at zero, for example. And if we add that to zero, like 0.25 and two, you can see that is getting more reflection at the ends. Now, of course, you can play with this. You can uh, change this from overall to view, which will produce some nice results. I think. Object. Yeah, it's, it's changing some of the effects. Anyway, you got the idea of the reflection. I just wanted to show you how you can use, how you can create a cube map and uh, make a reflection without actually keeping the, uh, pre the, the reflection prop. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. Bye.